The JBD Win Mini is possibly one of this year's most eagerly anticipated handhelds from JBD to be released. We have a pre-mass production sample model to take a closer look at. This is not a final review, but more of an overview to see it in action. As always, we start with the unboxing. But before we do, do you know how many people ask us where they can buy these handhelds? You can buy them from us at droix.co.uk and droix.net for international shipping. Keep watching until the end for a discount code. First, we have the user manual, which is in Chinese and English. Next is the GPD Win Mini itself. We will take a closer look at it in a minute. Underneath is a charger, which we will include the correct adapter for your country. There is also a hand strap, which you can attach to the Mini, followed by a USB Type-C charge cable, and last but not least, a USB Type-C to Type-A USB adapter. The GPD Win Mini measures around 6.6 .6 by 4.29 by 0.98 inches and weighs around 520 grams. The lid opens to reveal a nicely proportioned 7 inch LTPS touchscreen which has a resolution of 1920 by 1080 supporting 60 and 120 Hz refresh rates. You will likely be using 60 Hz for newer games but for older games that support it 120 will look very smooth. On the lower half of your mini are your gaming controls on either side of the touchpad. Just below are the Select, Menu, Start, L4 and R4 shortcut buttons. The control pad is a little different to the usual vertical orientation of the sticks in relation to the D-pad and buttons. It doesn't take long to get used to them and feels comfortable to play on. The backlit keyboard is a bit larger than the GPD Win 4 and is easier to type on. While it is larger, it's not quite large enough for fast typing or writing longer documents but it's definitely comfortable for quick messages etc. Across the back we have two USB ports, a switch to change between gamepad and mouse modes and a 3.5mm audio combo jack. Next we have the Oculink port which you can connect to the GBD G1 eGPU docking station and there is a micro SD card reader just above it. We also have the GBD Win Mini grips which are available for purchase separately. They screw into the back of the Win Mini and provide an improved grip when holding the device. It does add some extra thickness, so it's not quite as pocketable as before, but it does mean holding it for longer gaming sessions is far more comfortable. With it being screws to hold it in place, it provides excellent stability, but it means you can't remove them as fast as say a sliding or clickable pieces. It's there as an option if you want them, and maybe we will see third party 3D prints for other styles of grips. On release, there will be two models of the GPD Win Mini. The AMD Ryzen 7 7840U with AMD Radeon 780M graphics, and the AMD Ryzen 5 7640U with 760M graphics. The 7840U will have options of 32 and 64 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM running at 6400 mega transfers a second, and the 7640U has options of 16 or 32 gigs. There will be options for up to 2 terabyte of PCIe NVMe SSD. For communications, there is fast Wi-Fi 6E for internet and Bluetooth 5.2 to connect peripherals with. Now to address the elephant in the room. Much has been made of the temperatures on the Win Mini. The actual temperature is just fine, reaching around 50 or so degrees. However, in the beta samples there is a build up of heat around the game and control area, which is not ideal as this is where your fingers are placed. This is already being addressed by GPD and will be fixed by the time the Win Mini is released to the public. Again, this is a beta sample unit and the design will change for the final model. For the system and gaming benchmarks, we are using the official AMD 28.3.2 drivers. They have fairly similar performance to the GBD supply drivers we used on their Win423 and Max223 models. We will have a new video soon comparing all of the handhelds with the same drivers. We start the benchmarks with 3D Mark and its Time Spy, Fire Strike and Night Raid tests. The scores were overall lower than the other 7840U models, but as you will see in other tests, they do get more comparable. 
Cinebench tests the CPU performance with single core and multi core benchmarks. We got 1658 on single core and 12491 on multi. The scores are a little lower than other 7840U models. Again, we will retest these with the same drivers and setup in the future for a proper comparison. For Forza Horizon 5, we are running at 1080p across 11, 20 and 28 watts TDP on the very low graphic settings. We get decent FPS scores for 1080p. They were a touch lower than the Win4 2023, but we know the different drivers do affect performance a bit on various games. For Shadow of the Tomb Raider, we are running at 1080p across 11, 20 and 28 watts TDP on the lowest graphic settings. We got noticeably better scores than the GPD Win423, so our thoughts on the driver performance differences are kind of confirmed. We double checked by installing a newer driver on another device and got lower performance. AMD, please sort out your drivers. Next, we have Cyberpunk 2077 running at 1080p on the low graphic settings with no FSR enabled. We got very good scores across the different TDPs, around the same as the GPD Win423, which was good to see. As mentioned, we were not directly comparing the benchmark results with other 7840U based models, as they were all using different drivers. But if you check out our reviews of these models, you can find the benchmark results to very roughly compare. Overall, the benchmark scores are similar to the GPD Win423, which we tested at 1080p resolution and the same TDP. There are some games that have higher or lower scores, but that's the nature of different driver versions. We did not experience any performance issues with the Win Mini, everything was roughly on par with the other 7840U handholds. Keep an eye out for our video where we benchmark all of the different models for comparison. The GBD Win Mini has been for many in the scene the most eagerly anticipated handheld to be released this year. It was however spoiled a bit by the external temperature issues identified in what is a beta sample of the device. Personally, I think the public's reaction is overblown and the result was the usual everyone jumping on the internet drama bandwagon. These are sample models of unfinished hardware, made 2-3 to three months before they will start manufacturing and shipping. GBD were already working on fixing this before it was known to the public and the issues, of which this external temperature is not the only one, will be fixed beforehand. So wait for the final hardware reviews if this is a concern for you. Rant over, let me know in the comments what you think. The GBD Win Mini has just the right mix of portability, found in the Win4 series and functionality found in the Win Max 2 series. One of my complaints with the Win4 was that the display was occasionally a little too small to see some text, and with the Max 2 it could be a bit uncomfortable to hold for longer gameplay sessions. The Win Mini manages to address both these issues with a great balance of a larger display in the smaller, more comfortable form factor. You can use the hand grips for the best comfort and it feels excellent to play on. The controls horizontal orientation takes minimal getting used to and the keyboard, whilst larger than the Win4, is still a little too small to use as a standard keyboard. We can't wait to get our hands on the final GPD Win Mini model for a full review and be able to compare it with the 7640U version to see the performance difference. We expect this to be closer to launch in November, so don't forget to subscribe and you won't miss out. You can learn more and pre-order your GBD Win Mini from us at droix.co.uk and droix.net for international shipping. Use the discount code WINMINI5OFF for a 5% discount. Please note the discount code will expire in one month and cannot be used during store sales or promotions. That wraps up our overview of the GBD Win Mini. What do you think of it? Let us know in the comments. Whilst taking a moment to leave a comment, why not subscribe so you can keep up to date with our latest videos. We hope to see you back in the next one.